Welcome to the arcade! Yep. Welcome back everybody to Phanthropological Arcade. Hey Z. I think, yeah. Two things. Yeah. One, I can tell you where there's a, a bonus stage. Oh yeah? Very soon. Okay, that'd, um, that'd be good. But two, I have a joke for you. What's that? Okay, knock knock. Who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? I didn't know you could yodel. Oh! <laughs> Welcome to the show, <laughs> everybody. Uh, yeah, we're playing more Sonic Mania. Um, I don't know if this is actually from one of the original levels. Oh, and the bonus stage is down below. You can fall down. Uh -huh. Yep. If you can somehow manage to get over there, it's to your left. Oh. It's uh, a little tricky to get to. Because you need to, like, bounce up over that thing. Yeah. But if you can get over there, it's right, right in there. I found that the paper belts are really hard to bounce off of. Yeah. I think this might have been an original level. I think so, yeah. Oh, so close! Although... Oh, there you go. Although playing it now, I mean, I don't think it was in the Game Gear game. But I do remember that there were two Sega, or two Sega, why do I keep saying Sega when I mean Sonic? Why do I keep missing that box of rings? Ah, why, why, why is all this happening? Who am I? Where am I going? Uh. This is not my beautiful <laughs> Um, anyway. But, uh, there were some, some Sonic games on the Game Gear, and I think one was a remake of one of the Sega Genesis games, but the other one was an original. So, I mean... Could be a reimagining of one of those, but I don't think it is. I would be surprised. The Sega, the Sega Game Gear was like what Sega Master System, something like that. Which was not the Sega Genesis. Yep. Or Sega Mega Drive. I don't well, know. It didn't remember. have blast processing. Yeah, fine, whatever. Use your buzzwords. <laughs> um, I remember seeing some of the graphics for that. I think those were more similar to the, um, to the like uh, Game Boy games. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. Oh man, you are gonna have to pick up the pace. I don't even know if you can get can go to mock or I think you just get like a bonus or something if you manage to. You might need to start skipping over some yeah, you can fall through there by the way. It it looked like it, so I was jumping over just to be sure. Go right, go right. Ah uh, it's a shortcut. Ah See this is much harder. Not just because you're going faster. But because, like, it is way, way, way far ahead of you. And you are rapidly running out of rings. And luck. I feel like that thing is across the... Oh, it just gives you a bonus. Yeah. Ah, I wanted those rings. No! I don't think you're gonna do it, man. No! Time over. Ah. I was hoping I could dramatically jump down one of those openings. Uh, I mean, maybe. Long story short, I don't think this is a remake of any of the Game Gear games. Probably not. Probably not. Anyway, Sonic Chronicles. Oh, that's right. That's what we were talking about yeah, on the last yeah. episode. And in that last episode, you mentioned the uh, the new character, Robotnik's niece. Yeah, it's not a real new character. Well, but... no fan character, but still. Anyway, that got me thinking to, you know, uh, how the plot of a lot of Sonic games are pretty pretty built up there's quite a bit there if you look into the lore at all you know it's not all just eating chili dogs and then being zapped through a time portal to to the world of king arthur um what totally the opening of sonic and the black knight sonic is eating like two chili dogs and then he's summoned to the world of king arthur and he like falls through a portal there and stuff and he drops one of his chili dogs, and eats the other one, and he's like, Oh man, where, uh, where's my chili dogs? Oh, amazing. Sounds like <laughs> a very gripping plot. I think that's why Sonic games kind of have a, a bad reputation for their stories, because they're kind of cheesy like that. Cheesy like a chili dog? Cheesy like a chili dog. Does the chili dog have to have cheese on it? I don't think so. I mean, chili is the essential ingredient, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, you'll want to get out of this because they crush you. 
but anyway. And then you have games like Sonic Chronicles, where I guess they wanted to up the ante a little bit, and like Robotnik's in that in that game in oh, that story. You need to break that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Robotnik's dad is like this esteemed scientist. Oh, um, this is where the lore comes in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Robotnik himself is just as as much a genius, except that you know he's twisted and evil and whatever. But uh, if you read some of the uh, encyclopedia entries in the game, because, you know, they've got that in the menu if you want some more information, it mentions things like public hangings Ooh, and, man. you know, like executions and that kind of thing. And it's just it's just bizarre reading about that stuff. It's it's kind of like seeing Sonic interacting with human characters. <laughs> just like this weird crossover of the extremely cartoony 90s blue hedgehog with realistic-ish anime or video game characters. Did you uh, did you watch both of the the cartoons from the 90s? Um, you mean the one that had no plot and was just a bunch of, of jokes and yeah. the one that had a plot? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. But I it did not watch Sonic X. I think I, it was called. Yeah, I only caught bits and pieces of that. Gotta go fast! Gotta go faster! <laughs> Faster, 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 faster. That's the part I remember the most. Is that the theme song? Ye- the North American one. <laughs> I don't like. I don't know. Maybe the Japanese one had more exciting. Actually, probably did. Probably had some fun anime opening. <laughs> You'd be like, "This is Sonic the Hedgehog." Yeah. Man, I mean, that's usually how it works. Mm-hmm. Probably a lot about destiny and. Fate and it's probably like a sweeping, like the light shining on Sonic, just like appears, <laughs> and then it's just like, you know, he like runs at the camera. So, I don't know, man. <laughs> There's a lot of tropes in that. Oh yeah. Uh, are you caught in the loop? No, no, you're not. No. It just looks like it. There yeah. are some areas in Sonic where they just repeat, like this one. Yep, this one's definitely a loop. So you need to break the loop. <clears throat> Oh, just do the top part. Or the bottom part, maybe? No, the bottom part is the part you keep repeating. Okay. So when you go back on that thing, you need to... Yeah, there you go. Last time. Perfect. Oh no! I've fallen and I can't get up. (laughs) Alright. Dr. Robotnik has some pretty harebrained schemes to kill a stupid hedgehog. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Like, what if I built a robot hedgehog? Maybe that'll work. Oh, no, he's got no arm. Get him now. Get him now. They also do a really good job of making a robot that is very clearly just a bunch of spinning blades look like it has a mouth and a face. Mm Mm-hmm. And all that stuff. Oh, no. You need to get it to target something. (laughs) Like that box. It's too far away. Thanks for taking that hit, Tails. You're always such a good sport. I mean, you could also ah! take advantage of your invulnerability. I could, but then I'd have to lose all my rings. Yeah, they don't matter. <laughs> You're rapidly running out of time. Look at the clock. It's 6 618. Oh no. You're gonna die. Ah, Get him, Tails. Ah, just. Like, this is why Sonic is easy. <laughs> I'm not, like, criticizing the game design. It's just, like, you can. You can cheese it pretty well. Pretty reliably cheese it. Arrgh! Honestly, though, this was one of my least favorite levels from when I was playing through it the first time. I don't really like the mechanics or the or the level. The next part, the second act, looks kind of neat. Yeah? But it, thematically, it's like weird. This is also one of the levels where they don't really push things together like Mm -hmm. the first stage directly connects to the second stage the second stage directly connects to the third stage and then sometimes the connection is really loose like but then sometimes you just end up in the world Mm -hmm. but like what is this press garden and then there's like a bunch of chinese or like lantern things in a forest it's kind of like the mushroom hill zone but not because it's all frozen Mm mm-hmm Oh, that wasn't anything important. I never noticed the sprite work there. <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> I 
one time spikes <laughs> down below. And... Yep. Uh, oh no. I don't know if this level has a bottom or not. I don't want to find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, so unexpected answer, Sonic 3D Blast from a previous episode about yeah. your favorite episode. What is your least favorite Sonic game? Oof. With this one, I'm I'm going to be very disappointed. <laughs> I'm going to be like, why why are we playing this game, <laughs> Z? Why, why are we doing this to ourselves? No, no. Why are we even here? <laughs> why, <laughs> why does anything matter, Z? You can... You can rest at ease, and you can uh, put that existential crisis uh, to rest for now, anyway. That's good. I probably have other crises I can go through in the meantime. Oh, boy. Uh, but I'd have to say my least favorite Sonic game would ha would have to be Sonic Spinball. What? I just never was any good at it. I just never really knew what to do. you got to collect the chaos. I'm not even kidding. You've got to collect the chaos. Over. <laughs> well, but, like, um, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not good at non-real-life pinball? You know, pinball is not a regular in a pinball. Case. No, not <laughs> not terribly. Are you a pinball wizard? There's got to be a trick. I am not. Okay. I am no pinball wizard. Okay, this is going somewhere. I don't, I don't know where this is going. I hope this is going somewhere. But yeah, you say you. It sounds like uh, you. I have opposite feelings for Sonic Spinball. Seems just like that's a natural state of the next cast, right? G has some <laughs> well-reasoned opinion, and then the two of us argue over one thing or the other. No, um, well, I remember, I remember there being a comic, an Archie comic, about Sonic Spinball. Yeah. <coughs> and getting kind of interested in the game after that, and then I remember owning the game. Ah, pardon my nose. And uh, I remember owning the game and it being difficult but managing to get through all the way to the final level and then wow. not quite being able to beat the game. It wasn't a very long game, it has like four worlds or something. It's a pinball game. Right. Uh, I used to really like pinball games for reasons that I don't entirely understand, but I do like them. Oh, I'm dying everyone. This was mentioned on a previous episode, but we record in batches, so mm -hmm. I'm still dying. Yep. If you don't want T to die, send one dollar <laughs> to happy guy. To, happy guy. to living guy. To li uh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, PO box def five five five. Definitely wouldn't help out in these particular circumstances, <laughs> but if you were interested in helping us out. You could check out our Patreon. Patreon.com slash the next cast. That's true. That won't really make me feel better right now. <laughs> uh, it's not even winter. That's the worst. Yeah. I never found out what happens if you put Sonic in the wood chipper. <laughs> Probably the same thing that happened in Fargo when they put anybody in the wood chipper. Bad things. Bad things. I never saw Fargo. No. They made a Netflix series for that, didn't they? I don't know if it was a Netflix series, but it was definitely a TV series. Yeah. I don't know if it was on one of the networks or like on Netflix or Amazon or one of those, but... Oh, there's a... Wait, what? Oh, there you go. Just Wee. broke by itself. Hey! Plot, maybe, Ooh. kind of. I don't know. Ninja dude. Yeah, ninja ice guy. Uh, well, you haven't figured out his pattern. Oh, there you go. You got his pattern. When he's jumping, he's in invulnerable. <laughs> or vulnerable. Or whatever. It's like a ninja for some reason. I don't know. Uh, I forget what I was... I wish I could remember this. I was playing... I was reading something. I was talking about the sprite art of this one person. And... Mm -hmm. It tied into this game because they'd done Sprite Out for this game, but I couldn't remember the other thing that they did. Ah. Was it something... Was it another indie-ish game? Uh, probably. Mm. Also, you are dangerously Curious. vulnerable. Oh, come on, man. Oh, you okay, got lucky. Good. Whew. You know what? I probably won't find out next time on Phantophological <laughs> Arcade. But we'll be in another zone. Yeah. So, Sonic got through Act 2. That's right. Woo! And, and the next 
On to the next one. On to the next one. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. This actually ties it together. Ooh. Some sort of... Death Star-like thing and... Some sort of robot Sonic. Yes. All right, next time. Mm Mm-hmm.